Look, I'm just going to be honest. ClickUp's marketing department is lying to you. ClickUp has been doing the work to try to convince us that ClickUp is the one app to replace them all. And this could not be farther from the truth. Because of this, it's been super trendy recently to try to stay organized and organize every aspect of your group program, masterminder membership inside of ClickUp. And that is just a bad idea. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why and give you some solutions. My name is Ashley and I'm an Airtable and automation expert that helps coaches organize and automate the backend operations of their six figure and seven figure group offers. I've helped countless entrepreneurs use Airtable to improve their student experience, make data driven decisions and have their biggest launches ever without burning out their teams. By the end of this video, you're going to understand the differences between ClickUp and Airtable and how exactly you should be using both to manage your group offers. After this video, you're going to want to take a good look at your ClickUp and make sure you're using it correctly. So let's get into it. The first thing is that your group program needs a database for all of the data about your students, your curriculum and your program. And ClickUp just simply is not a database. And a lot of us are trying to make it into a database when it just isn't that tool. So the only thing ClickUp is good for is task management, nothing else. Your group program needs so much more than just a simple task list. And to scale your group offer to truly scale it, you need a database. So a database is one central source of truth where all of your client data and details live. And you just can't do that inside of a task management system. So that's the biggest difference between Airtable and ClickUp is that ClickUp just simply isn't a database. So it shouldn't be used as one. And I, a lot of the time I see people trying to kind of square peg round hole and force ClickUp to be this super robust database that it just simply can't be. ClickUp is just a project management system, but because they are trying to convince you that it's the one app to replace them all, there's a lot of confusion in what you should use Airtable for and what you should use ClickUp for and vice versa. Here's how I see some group program founders using ClickUp in a way that they inevitably get confused, their teams get confused, and it's just not scalable, right? So in ClickUp, you have all of these random tasks related to your student. So sending them an onboarding gift or adding them to the Facebook group or checking in on their course progress, there's just so many different tasks. But what's missing is that there's not a place where all of those tasks are connected to what we call a primary student record. So you can pop open one place and see everything about that student. When you sent their onboarding gift, how many Q&A calls that they've submitted, when you sent the onboarding gift, or how many Q&A call questions that they've submitted to the program, right? There's just so many moving pieces in a program that when you're using ClickUp and even ClickUp forms or ClickUp tasks, there's not a way to bring all those together and have one central source of truth where you can see everything about your student. Something else I see a lot is that operation teams will start to move out of spreadsheets and think that they need something a little more sophisticated and move into ClickUp when they really should be moving into Airtable. So they try to make ClickUp work as this database, right? It's so much harder to keep track of that stuff inside of ClickUp or even Asana to keep track of where your students are at. Some coaches have their operations team create a little card for each student and put in their start date manually. When they finish a module, they'll update the card that way. So they kind of have like a source of truth database, but it's not scalable because there's a lot of manual work required from the operations team, right? So if they finish a module, they update it in ClickUp. If they fill out a form, they link it to the ClickUp task. And it gets really complicated because you're trying to force a task management system to be this really dynamic, robust database that it just simply isn't built for. So using ClickUp as your database for the source of truth for all of your students does not work. It does not scale. And you're just simply using the wrong tool for the job. It's much harder to manage a group program, especially if you're going evergreen, when you don't have a scalable system and you're using this task management system and you're relying on a lot of manual work from your operations team. It's really hard to keep track of who is active in the program, who needs to be removed because of failed payments when you're trying to make your project management system a database. So I'm sure if you have been trying to figure out <laughs> organizing all of this stuff in ClickUp, you've felt some of this pain and strain, right? So like I said, you need a database and ClickUp simply isn't a database. ClickUp is only good for task management, nothing else. So even if you use ClickUp, 
you still need a database and Airtable is hands down the best database option on the market right now for running your group program, mastermind or membership. So please <laughs> do not use ClickUp to keep track of your student details. Do not use ClickUp forms to accept applications or Q&A call submissions. Do not use ClickUp to outline your curriculum. Use it only to mark tasks off and that is it. It is so much easier to use an actual database to organize your student data and your group program data. And all of those moving pieces need to live in Airtable. So if you're curious about Airtable and how it can help you grow and scale your group offer, I really want you to sign up for my free masterclass, the three Airtable systems you need before your next six figure group program launch. In that masterclass, I screen share and I show you exactly what your Airtable setup should look like. And you'll start to see some of the things maybe you're currently using ClickUp for that just would click and make so much more sense inside of Airtable. So you can sign up for that masterclass in the description below. So now that we know the differences between Airtable and ClickUp, let's talk about how those work together. So like I said, ClickUp is only good for task management. So the only thing you should use ClickUp for is to help you complete tasks that are related to your group program. So Airtable and ClickUp can work well together. And the way that you do that is you have this data inside of Airtable and certain milestones related to the program can trigger tasks getting created in ClickUp for you and your team to complete. So a few examples of that. When a student joins your group program, Zapier would automatically add them to a group program hub, a little database inside of Airtable. So your student, when they join, they have a student record inside of your group program hub. Then let's say they complete an onboarding form. And inside of that onboarding form, you ask for their mailing address so you can send them a gift. You have to send that gift manually because you can't automate the postal service quite yet. <laughs> so what we can do is say, when a student completes their onboarding form that's inside of Airtable, create a ClickUp task to alert the team member to send off that gift. And inside of that task, you can have the name of the student, a link to their student record, a link to the Airtable database. And so the ClickUp task creates a task for them to tick off a task related to something inside of the database. So that way you still have this one central source of truth inside of Airtable. If they're used to looking at a task list every day inside of ClickUp, they can still have those, those tasks get completed just like they normally do, but the actual robust data lives inside of Airtable. And so some of the benefits of that, right, especially let's use this onboarding form gift as an example, when you have all that data inside of Airtable, you can start to look and say, okay, over time, how many onboarding gifts have we sent? Has this improved our student experience? Is it worth it? How much have we spent on, on these gifts? Because you could record like the amount that you, like the shipping amount inside of Airtable, and you can analyze all of that data. And you can't really do that when you just have these one-off tasks related to the program. So Airtable and ClickUp can work really well together if you currently use ClickUp for your task management. So when we add on this additional database element, we're just giving you even more rich data to analyze, to play with, and to see some trends in your students. And you just can't get that type of data and analyze that type of data inside of ClickUp. Another example of how you can use Airtable and ClickUp together is let's say you have a Facebook group, which doesn't have a way to automatically remove students from, uh, from the group when they get offboarded. So there are some manual pieces of your onboarding or offboarding processes that you know, automations just can't do sometimes. So what you can do is you can have a ClickUp task automatically created when someone is getting offboarded with those specific manual tasks that your, your team needs to fulfill. So when Ashley's timeout is up in the program, you know, create a ClickUp task for the OBM to remove them from the Facebook group. They'll check that off in their task list and they move on about their day. So that's ways that you can integrate the two together, but I want the data to stem from Airtable and you can create automations to create tasks based on that data. So a question I get a lot when folks are moving into Airtable is, okay, I'm, I'm feeling the Airtable love, I'm loving it in here. Can I use Airtable for my task management? And I'm gonna give you a personal example of this and some reasons why you might not want to do that and reasons my, why you might wanna dive in and do that. So if you and your team are currently using ClickUp for task management and you love it, great. Keep using it and only use it for task management. It's really great at that, right? It's made to be that. So it's really good at recurring tasks. You can organize your project plans. You can tag people, you can comment. You can do all of those things and it's very robust. 
What I have found is personally for me and my small team is that it was actually too robust for our needs. And so we do manage all of our tasks and projects inside of Airtable. ClickUp is a task management system that can't be turned into a database. Airtable is a database that can be turned into a project management system, but it's definitely not as robust as the ClickUps and the Asanas of the world. So you do get some limited, um, you do get some limited features there, but for me and my team, it totally works for our needs. So I have tried to use ClickUp, okay? I tried. <laughs> a couple years ago, I tried using ClickUp for task management. I had a small team, myself, a virtual assistant, and an online business manager. And Airtable was new to both of them, but they had both had used ClickUp before, so I was open to trying it. It, it did not go well. <laughs> I know the difference between feeling organized and actually being organized, and it felt really easy to feel organized in ClickUp at first. I could create pretty project plans with recurring dates and dependent tasks and all of those things. And they looked super professional and they looked super legit. But the problem was that for me is I never actually used the thing. I just never quite got the hang of getting into ClickUp every day. ClickUp really just felt like a rabbit hole of information. There were folders and subfolders and tasks and subtasks and sub subtasks and so many places to look for comments that I would just get too overwhelmed. This totally could have been resolved by, you know, restructuring a ClickUp or just making it simpler, but I just ended up avoiding ClickUp altogether. I woke up each day and just worked on what I thought was most important and watched those little red ClickUp notifications get bigger and bigger, which definitely was not helpful to me or my team. Using ClickUp ended up adding more shame and stress to my plate. I hear this similar issue come up with a lot of my clients, especially if they are not used to a project management system at all. Making the jump from having all of your tasks in your head or scribbled in a notebook to a complex system like ClickUp is really overwhelming. ClickUp is good for task management if your team is currently using it and you're currently loving it. If not, Airtable actually might be also a great alternative for a task management solution as well. So I hope if anything in this video, you've taken away that ClickUp is a task management system and anything else, we wanna move out of ClickUp and into Airtable. Now, if you want to see exactly how I recommend you setting up your Airtable bases and how you can make that transition from ClickUp into these robust databases inside of Airtable, I want you to check out my free masterclass, the three Airtable systems you need before your next six-figure group program launch. I literally walk you through exactly how to set all of this stuff up, what it should look like. So the link to sign up for that is in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to let me know in the comments if you have any questions about all things Airtable, and I will see you in the next video.